Hey Legions, version 1.025 of Legion Space is finally here bringing the changes that we showed last week, except it's up to the version and everything is now working as we expected. So to get this, you will need to restart your Legion Space and you'll know it's working because you'll get a controller firmware update as part of the installation process. So if you have Legion Space disabled as part of your boot up, you'll need to manually launch it and the update process should begin. If that doesn't work, restart your Legion and open up space and you should get that update. So let's have a look at the updates that are in this version. Starting off with one of my biggest bugbears is they even fixed the issue that having the quick menu open still controlled the game. This now properly stops the input for the game so you can navigate the quick menu with ease. Also, they added the Alt F4 shortcut to the quick menu. So you can now quit out of either hanging applications or just quickly exit out of games. Also implemented the Xbox button, but this is still the Legion Space original key plus the right stick click. Even if you swap these over, it still remains the top left Legion Space button or start button if you swap them, as well as pressing down the right stick at the same time. But that is now functional on this version. They've also implemented the switch button layout and they've got a lovely little animation and little description of this being put into place. So you can have the start and select buttons in their natural places. With the quick menu button comes the top button, which was the start button and the Legion space becomes the select button or the bottom button as previously, making this much more natural and closer to other devices. As I said, the Legion Shortcut buttons still remain off that top left button, so do be aware of that. They've also added the dead zone joystick controls, and these are now fully functional, and boy, it makes a hell of a difference having the dead zones much smaller, much more responsive now, as well as the sensitivity adjustment for the response curves. So I don't generally play about with these, but if you have been looking for the response curve update, that is now live in this version with the firmware update as well. One thing to note, and I know there was a bug around the lighting previously, but the lighting controls are now fully functional and it did start off bright green on both sticks for me. So if you were looking to disable these, you may have to come in and retweak whatever you had before, but these are now all working. You can have it nice and dim with some funky lighting effects and dynamic colors, as well as controlling the speed. That's all now functioning as expected. That's it, that's everything that's now live in 1.025. If the patch notes come out and show anything that we didn't manage to cover, we'll make sure that we include it in our article, which will be linked in the comments below. Let us know what you think of this update and what your most anticipated change was, and if there's anything that you would still like to see. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.